Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Psychiatry. For US Only Step 1, we're going to be talking about an overview of substance abuse. So this is going to be a very quick video. If you guys don't know, on our YouTube channel, you can find other videos for Step 1, especially for Psych as a playlist, so go check it out. And while you're there, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, let's talk about substance abuse disorders uh, uh, in general. So substance abuse disorders are when someone has an addiction or a pattern of repeated drug or alcohol use and it often interferes with every aspect of their life including their health, their work, as well as their social relationships and their personal uh, relationships in their family. Now there are many different substances that are commonly abused and I'm sure you know all or majority of them already but uh, some are depressants like alcohol, barbiturates, benzos, and opioids. We also have stimulants or uppers, right? Like amphetamines, caffeine. A lot of people don't realize, but caffeine is uh, is a a substance abuse disorder that can occur. Majority of us have it. I probably have it, as well as cocaine. Some of us may have that. I don't. And uh, nicotine. Nicotine is also very common. And then finally, you have hallucinogens like LSD, marijuana, ecstasy, and PCP. Uh, so these are your substances that we're going to be discussing in the next upcoming videos. We're going to be discussing each and every one of them, and you should have a good understanding for each and every one of them because as a physician, you're going to see these things regularly or some of these things regularly, like nicotine, very common. Alcohol, very common. Uh, barbiturates and benzos, it depends. Opioids, right now, hot, hot, hot button issue. So you're going to see these. And alcohol, I mean, sorry, caffeine, everyone has caffeine uh, addiction. All right, so when it comes to classifying, there is a DSM-5 diagnostic criteria, and it's defined as having two or more of the following things uh, within a one-year period. So I'm not going to list each and every one of these out for you guys because you can go ahead and uh, go through each and every one of them. Now, uh, it's very simple. I think you should spend some time with this slide just to get a good understanding of what is needed in the DSM-5 because you're going to be dealing with this as a medical student, you're going to be dealing with this as a physician no matter what. Now, uh, this really won't be tested on step one, but I thought this was just good for you guys to know. So go ahead, spend some time with this slide, and you should be good. Now, one thing to know before we go uh, and talk about each and every one of these specific substances uh, is the stages of change. A lot of times, uh, patients will understand they have a substance abuse issue, and they will be ready to uh, commit to a change. Now, there are six main stages of change you should know for step one. This is very important. Uh, the first stage is pre-contemplation. In this, a patient does not acknowledge that they even have a problem. They don't realize it, okay? And then they're going to go on to contemplation. They're going to acknowledge that there's a problem, but they're not ready to change it, okay? So it's very simple. Think about it. If you have a Think about being addicted. At first, you don't realize you're addicted. Then you realize you're addicted, but hey, it feels good. You don't really want to change. Then you start preparing, right? Uh, preparation is the third step. You know you have an addiction. You're ready to change, okay? Uh, so you're starting to prepare. Then you're going to take actions to prepare. You're going to change your behavior. And once you have changed your behavior, once you have gone over your, your substance abuse problem, uh, you're going to try to maintain it. And you're going to contain uh, uh, these changes that you've done over a course of time through your action stage. And you want to maintain those uh, actions or those behaviors in order to uh, stay drug-free or substance-free. Those are the five main stages, and the sixth stage is the saddest one. It's probably relapse. A lot of times, patients end up falling off the wagon. You've heard that phrase. They end up relapsing, and they end up going back to those substances they were addicted to, and uh, they may land somewhere on uh, the spectrum, and they're going to continue to uh, get back to the maintenance stage, okay? So that does not always happen, okay? But it can happen. It often does. So that's pretty much all you need to know for the overview and for changes, uh, stages of change. Uh, go ahead and continue on to the next videos where we're going to talk about each and every one of these substances and what the substance abuse entails. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys don't know, you can find these lectures on your podcast service for free. So just search Mad Medicine will pop up and you can listen to us anywhere you go. Thank you so much for watching and continue on to the next topic.